It's cast iron Wednesday. Gotta make some schnitzel for breakfast. The theme of cast iron Wednesday this month is Canadian Thanksgiving or Oktoberfest. So I went to my local butcher, Buckingham Butchers, yesterday and I got this pork schnitzel. It looks delicious, but it's been in the fridge and it's gone a little bit kind of soggy. So we're going to freshen it up. I got an egg in there. I have some homemade breadcrumbs in there. We're going to cook it in my cast iron skillet with some bacon fat. And then we're going to use the leftover eggs. I have two more. I'm going to scramble up some eggs to have with them. It's going to be delicious. Fires are burning down. Everything's ready to go here. I can't wait to eat breakfast. This was originally going to be lunch with leftover rice and fresh Brussels sprouts. But then Mark at Eat Carbs did that exact same meal for his cast iron Wednesday, posted it at like midnight. So it was the first thing I saw when I get up this morning. So I'm not having lunch now. I'm having breakfast because schnitzel is delicious. And I can eat it anytime and I just can't wait. Mark's look great. Please go check out Eat Carbs and his cast iron Wednesday. Oh, it was so good. Uh, and then go check out Sean, Shovelhead 8. He did cast iron Wednesday. He did uh, cabbage rolls and stuffed peppers. Delicious. They both made me so hungry that I can't wait. So I'm going to make breakfast. Hopefully, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> so this pork schnitzel was made fresh at our local butcher's yesterday. It's been in the fridge since yesterday morning so just over 24 hours and it's gone just a little bit soggy I think it's probably fine but I want to freshen it up a little bit so we're gonna do a double dredge I'll put it in the egg I should probably put this in a bigger container and I should definitely be doing it with my right hand and not my left let's fix that there we go so I'm just gonna give it a little egg wash oops Tongs to the rescue. Give it a little egg wash. Looks like it's in nicely seasoned breadcrumbs. So I just made plain breadcrumbs to go on top. I should still be able to get the flavor. I am not German. My husband's family, his mother's family is German, but they don't do a lot of German cooking. So I don't really know how to do this properly. I have friends who are German, but I've never, you know, taken the course. <laughs> So there we go. We're just going to crisp it up a little bit more. I'm going to take it inside and put it in the fridge to help that set before I cook it. I still have big flames over there, so we're going to let that go down a little bit more before we get our bacon fat going in the skillet. What I don't want to do is ruin this. Uh, if you're local, if you're in Oshawa or in the Durham region, here in Ontario, Canada, go check out Buckingham Butchers off of Hillcroft Street, uh, just west of Simcoe. They have an amazing selection. I went in yesterday to get um, bratwurst so I can make some currywurst sausage for our Oktoberfest feast next week. And these things were just shouting out at me. And I love schnitzel. There we go. I'm going to put that in the fridge and let it set for a little bit, and then we'll come back out and cook. May your coffee or tea be strong this morning, my friends. Happy hump day. Hot. Cheers, my friends. Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy hump day. Mm. Cheers. Still wobbly but that's looking really good so I'm gonna put my pan on there and get it warmed up and then I'm gonna bacon fat in there and we'll start cooking our schnitzel all right my pan's heating up I got my bacon fat in there once that get all 
melted and toasty and nice, we're going to put our schnitzel in there and cook it up. I might just use that stove, because that's just wonky. <laughs> kind of impatient, though. Two pans seems like a good idea. We'll see. We'll see. It's a sporadic ADHD kind of day. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> in the meanwhile, melting bacon fat. All right, my oil looks good. Hopefully it's not too hot. We're going to put our schnitzel in it. Yeah. There we go. I think traditionally you want it to be floating in the oil, but I'm just going to do, just going to do it like this. All right, I got my woohoo stove settled over here on there for my eggs and we'll put some baking grease in there and we'll cook up those eggs to go with that which looks like it's frying up really quickly I don't want to burn it I'm really supposed to flip it once but we can't cook it we'll follow the same rules we do what we want please don't burn it Jackie please don't burn it Definitely a hot spot in this corner, so I'm just rotating it around in the pan a little bit so it gets even heat. It smells amazing. It looks so good already. Alright, time for eggs. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Just use a little bit of eggshell. Scoop out the eggshells. There we go. A little bit of pepper. A lot of pepper. A little bit of salt. There we go. That is looking just about done. Alright, there we go. Pork schnitzel. I'm not sure I can wait for the eggs because it looks and smells amazing. That's just smoking away there. So I move my eggs over there, get them going. We'll be eating breakfast soon. I poured the rest of my bacon grease from my schnitzel in there. Speed this up, I'm starving. Completely not traditional, but this is what I have a f flavor for, a taste for this morning, a hankering for bold, spicy HP sauce. It's gonna be delicious on those eggs. I don't want to be presumptuous, call this a Oktoberfest breakfast. But if you called it Oktoberfest breakfast and you served it to me, I'd be pretty darn happy. I did forget the lemon for the schnitzel, but I have my steak sauce. Nice and tangy, spicy, delicious. There. I'm going to put a big puddle down here to dip my schnitzel in. There we go. Pork, schnitzel, and eggs for breakfast. Cheers. Alright, it's 
time for the first bite. Start with a schnitzel. Look at that. Mm. And we need some of this egg, which I overcooked. Not a runny yolk, but that's okay. There we go. A little extra this sauce on there. There we go. Cheers. Happy Cast Iron Wednesday. Mmm. Happy. Would recommend. Two thumbs up. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you, Mark, for giving me this amazing breakfast idea. I'm sure it would have been great for lunch, but I just couldn't wait. But this is amazing. Cheers, my friend.